Hello and welcome to your latest Daily Energy Report. I'm Ben Lack, your Chief Conversationalist, and I'm here to bring you up to speed on the latest Daily Energy news. BP Wind Energy will purchase 350 General Electric 1.6 megawatt wind turbines for U.S. wind farm projects being developed this year and next year. Total value of the equipment orders and a five-year services agreement will total $750 million. GE's wind turbines will generate more than 560 megawatts of electrical power for the projects. BP Wind Energy placed two wind turbine orders with GE, the first for 88 units and the second for 262, for delivery in 2011 and 2012 respectively. BP Wind Energy's Mufani Wind Farm, which is to be developed in Scranton, Pennsylvania, will use GE's 1.6 82.5 technology. The company's Flat Ridge 2 wind farm will be built using 262 GE 1.6 100 wind turbines and will be located 43 miles southwest of Wichita, Kansas. The Arizona Public Service Company and First Solar have completed 17 megawatt Paloma Solar Power Plant in Arizona as part of the AZ Sun program. The solar facility consists of 275,000 thin film photovoltaic panels mounted on fixed tilt steel supports. Under the AZ Sun program, APS plans to invest in the development of 100 megawatts of turnkey utility scale solar photovoltaic power plants across Arizona. The four-year program is expected to have 100 megawatts online by 2014 and create more than 1,000 Arizona construction jobs. And finally, AES Wind Generation and AES Energy Storage have announced the commercial operation of AES Laurel Mountain Project in West Virginia. The project includes a 98 megawatt wind plant and 32 megawatts of an integrated battery-based energy storage. The project will supply emissions-free renewable energy and clean, flexible operating reserve capacity to the PJM interconnection. The 32 megawatt advanced storage project provides PJM with regulation service, delivering instantaneous response to grid operator requests for power, helping to match generation and demand. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com. And also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.